I just feel like telling the world I'm happy and gay. I just feel like telling you why I'm feeling that way. This is just the time of the year when bees start to buzz. And I've got a bee in my bonnet simply because oh, when the bees are make honey down in sunny Alabama. That's when I said I'd be sending a telegram down to my honeysuckle home where my folks live all alone. They're like a pair of honeybees in a honeycomb. I'm gonna make a beeline straight for home, that's what I am. And I've a plan to muck about with my honey lamb. Some Sunday afternoon, if I don't get stung, there'll be a honeymoon. Now when the bees make honey down in sunny, oh, you alum. Busiest bee that you ever knew Sipping honey all through the day That's just what I'll do When the bees are buzzing around near some rosemary How I love to bundle about Just take it from me But when the bees make honey down in sunny Alabama That's when I said I'd be sending a telegram down to my honeysuckle home Where my folks live all alone They're like a pair of honeybees in a honeycomb I'm gonna make a beeline straight for the home That's what I am And I've a plan to muck around with my honey lamb Some Sunday afternoon If I don't get stung, to be a honeymoon When the bees make honey down in sunny Oh, you have a fan. These ragtime songs were accompanied by energetic love dances named after animals. The turkey trot, bunny hug, kangaroo hop. This was the other side of the pop coin. The first being the ballad, appealing to the heart. The second appealing to the feet and to the um, sexual drive. From about 1917, any pop song hoping for hit status had to be danceable, mostly to a foxtrot. Modern dance schools flourished, so did dance halls. And Irving Berlin, the typical alley man, always quick to immortalize trends, actually mixed dieting with dancing. Some folks who are stout worry, there's no doubt. Doctors come and shout. Cuts that eating out. I just have to grin at that double chin because really it's a sin. They could all be thin. It's, it's very, very simple, simple if you care to try it. A million people are reducing by it. No need to worry about a silly diet. Try it two steps. Or a fox trot. Go right ahead and eat a great big luncheon. I guarantee that you will soon have one chin. Instead of two or three, just take a tip from me. Dance and grow thin.
But man cannot live by beat alone. He also needs songs of the heart. A popular and romantic topic was found to be faraway places, such as the exotic East and the topical or tropical South Pacific. You know, very few Americans at that time had actually been there personally, and therefore these places seemed full of mystery, delight, and romance. With the success of the opera Madame Butterfly, which had wowed American audiences and started an oriental craze, Tin Pan Alley had yet another source from which to draw. And in 1916, John Golden and Raymond Hubel, with a little bit of help from Puccini, wrote a song for a review about the Americanization of a Japanese lady, which is still a beauty, still a hit.